Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. So today I'm gonna to go over an issue I was having when I was printing some of these storage containers. Uh, I haven't really had this issue in the past because I'm typically not printing something this large at that speed, uh, but I'll go into more detail on that in the video. Uh, but basically, as you can see here, there is uh, some layer separations uh, and the re end result is if you just pop it, it'll do this. It'll come right off uh, separating the print. So I'm gonna spend a couple minutes talking about kind of what happened here and how to fix it. Uh, this video isn't gonna be very long, uh, but it was something that uh, happened to me recently. So I figured it'd be a good video to kind of show you guys. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Also coming up, I'm gonna have some more videos on a laser. I just bought an X-Tool P2, uh, which is a larger CO2 laser. So I'll be doing some videos on that. And then I still have the Big Tree Tech, um, basically the Raspberry Pi board. It's their version of it. And a couple other accessories from them that I'll be making some videos on as well. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what's happening. Uh, so as you can see, there's a clear separation here, uh, probably about five or six layers where there's a gap. And basically if you do this, you can just snap it right off. Basically no good for really anything. I guess if you were putting something light in it, it wouldn't have been complete trash, um, but it's a worthless print. So the root cause of the problem is actually under extrusion. But if you were to print smaller pieces, like I printed a chest piece uh, right after this, and I had no issues because it was about this big and about a couple inches tall, and it just worked. Uh, so there were no uh, layer separation or anything like that going on. Uh, so it has to do with the speed and the temperature at that point. Um, so the bottom layers ended up working fine because it has the heat from the um, build plate kind of helping soften the uh, material coming out of the extruder. And then you get to a point where that heat goes away and it starts to under extrude for a while. And then um, most of the time it ends up fixing itself. As you can see, the rest of this ended up looking fine. Um, I don't understand why it ends up fixing itself but it does most of the time though. I have seen examples where it does come back later up in the print as well. So in different spots uh, and this example, that wasn't the case. So let's talk about the fix. Uh, all I ended up doing was I increased the print temperature uh, by 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, and I was able to get the nice smooth line. So I was able to allow the filament to go through faster. Uh, I think ultimately what's happening is when you're printing at like that 250, 300 millimeters a second speed and working with larger parts like this, the filament just needs to be a little bit hotter in order to actually flow properly. Uh, so printing this at 10 degrees higher for the larger print uh, fixed the issue. I did step it up by five at first and it seemed okay for a print, but the one immediately following that had the same issue. I bumped it up another five, so 10 degrees total, and I was able to print five or six of these with no issues. So this fix is simple, um, but it's just one of those issues. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really make sense, but it kind of does, if that makes sense at all. Um, but it's only something you're going to really encounter on these larger prints when you're trying to print really fast. Uh, and you won't see that type of issue uh, like with your smaller prints or if you're even printing a temperature tower, you won't see the difference because it's not going fast enough. And if you're working with some of the older printers, uh, like your base Ender 3 or something like that, you're just not printing fast enough for it to even make a difference. Um, so I never had any issues like that with those style printers. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Like I said, this isn't an issue you're gonna encounter all the time, but I thought it was kind of odd because it was only happening on the larger prints and at the higher speeds. But the fix was relatively simple. You just kind of have to understand what's going on and uh, just make the change. But I did waste a bit of filament uh, testing things out, so I figured it'd be worth kind of sharing it with you guys. If you have any questions about what I covered here or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.